Adventurous Carrie here. Thank you for coming along with us on our seven week road trip around the country. Last night we went to the San Antonio River Walk, which was absolutely amazing. This, this next two days are kind of a repeat from a year ago. We went to San Antonio and then we went to Lotus, Texas when we saw Robert Earl Keene's last three shows. So we went back there. And so come along as I give you a recap, give you a little bit of background on the river walk in San Antonio, and give you a walk around the cute little historic town of Holotus. Remember the Alamo. As many times as I've been in San Antonio, I had never visited the historic site. 1836, March 6, the Battle of the Alamo started between the Texas forces and the Mexican army. 90 minutes later, all the defenders perished and all that are remembered on this monument. Originally built by the Catholic missionaries in 1718, the reason this Alamo is so important to Texas is within a year later, the Texas resilience captured their independence from Mexico and it continues to be a draw and a reminder daily of how strong the people are in Texas. After we left the Alamo, we heard the eerie sound of bats in the trees. San Antonio's River Walk is one of Texas's most popular attractions. Steeped in more than 300 years of tradition and heritage, it features world-class entertainment, diverse cuisine, and unique events throughout the year. This way, I was thinking this way, go on and come back, because there's a bridge right here. Last time we stopped at that Mexican place and just had some nachos or something, didn't we? Margarita? I think so. Margarita and nachos. I never get tired of coming down to the river walk. It's so cool down here. I like it at night. Nighttime is more romantic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are on the quieter end where all the hotels are. Many of San Antonio's most spectacular hotels Restaurants, nightclubs, bars, and shopping centers can be found right here on the river walk. I recommend coming at night when the colorful lights are on full display. And I also recommend coming midweek as it's not as crowded. Originally conceived in the 1920s to revitalize downtown San Antonio, construction began in 1939 on what we all now know as the San Antonio River Walk. The walking loop is 2.5 miles stretch of beautiful landscape on the waterfront. On the band. Debo bajar del cielo las estrellas y la luna. Yo no bajaré la luna ni las. Stop to have margaritas and tacos at the oldest restaurant on the Riverwalk, Casa Rio. Okay, what show had the, the comedian sitting in a square? Was it laughing? Let me know below in the comments. Another cool attraction that downtown San Antonio has are these lighted carriages to take people around the city. Not on the river walk, but in the city up above. 
Hey, we're leaving another Cracker Barrel outside of San Antonio, Texas, and we are headed to Bee Daddy's Barbecue in Helotus, Texas. We were there a year ago and absolutely loved it. So we're looking forward to having lunch there, and then I get to see my son in Austin. We are back in Helotus, Texas. A year ago, we were here for the final shows of Robert Earl Keane, and... Um, Right over there is Flores Country Store where Robert Earl King performed. And we parked our van here at B Daddy's. And the owner was gracious to let us just camp right here all weekend. And so we're coming back to have lunch at B Daddy's. A year ago when I was in Helotus, Texas, I discovered this adorable store called Cheetah Lish. Everything in here is animal print, and it's absolutely adorable. I love all their clothes. The clothes fit wonderfully. They wear well, they wash well. If you're ever in this area, you have to come check this store out. They get new merchandise in every single day. So I always like to come in here and see what's new. After shopping, it was time for lunch at Bee Daddy's. Well, hello there. Is that how you melt the cheese? We just got this yesterday. This is the first time I'm using it. So I get to be your guinea pig? Uh, well, it just helps the cheese melt so that we don't have to burn the bread. Thank you. So you guys are heading to Bryce Canyon, right? Well, after we go to uh, Austin and Nevada and California, I'll message my wife here in a minute. So this is the Mac Daddy. It's a brisket sandwich with uh, macaroni and cheese on top. So when you ask if there's a side, they say the side comes on the sandwich. And George got the single brisket, or is that chicken? And a side of green beans, and their corn is to die for. Rich and George got the three meats. He's got brisket, chicken, and pork. This is the <laughs> Started as a food truck in 2012, September 29th, 2012. And then we opened here January of 2016. That I saw in between here? And we have two of them. Okay. Yeah. So, so January when you opened? 2016. 2016. A little bit. So what made you get into the barbecue business? Can't say that. <laughs> well, we're glad you did. Yeah. And thanks for saving our spot. <laughs> we we have our own parking spot here. So, what is your best seller here? Brisket. 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 Turkey ribs. How does your Mac Daddy do? That is amazing. A lot of the Mac Daddies. Yeah, I had a lot had, of Mac Daddies. Well, I bought the Mac Daddy and I ate half. The other half I'm taking back and giving to my son. If it makes it. If it makes sense, he doesn't eat it. It's a big sandwich. We we, and we had it last time. Very rich. And do you enjoy this? I love it. Make a lot less money than I used to, but I'm a lot happier. There you go. <laughs> Isn't that what life's all about? Being happy? It's supposed to be. Yep. <laughs> Helotus, Texas is located in the far no northwest part of San Antonio. Its population was 9,030 in 2020. It's a farming community. Corn played an important role in the heritage of Helotus. The local Native Americans planted corn, maize outside the U.S., in a fertile valley of the area and feed corn was a major crop grown in the 19th and early 20th century. 
The town's name is derived from the Spanish word hilote, which means ear of maize. So it's just, this town is just so cute. I absolutely love it. They have a lot of historic uh, plaques here that um, are now part of the historic downtown Helotes. And um, here we have some rocks that we collected. Uh, we actually took a rock and we left a rock here at this area here. Across the street is the Flores Country Store, which became really well known as a store that was built back in the 1946. It became a dance hall and has outdoor amphitheater. Flores Country Store, where we saw Robert Earl Keane three shows back in September of 2022. This place is really cool. In the back, they have a huge amphitheater and a stage and amazing music they have here. Remember when he could see and he barked at the bear? The bull. Or the bull, yeah. You know. Now we can't see it. In Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Barking at the bear or at the bull. This little area on the north end of the historic downtown Helotus has got a lot of heritage and a lot of history. And a lot of the old buildings have been turned into uh, new types of businesses. And it's just really cool to rock around here. Now, when we were here, it was morning, so most of the businesses weren't quite open yet, so that's why it looks kind of scarce and sparse. But in the evening time, it's a really happening area, and there's a lot of fun things to do down here. This little area behind the country club, which is a really cool bar to come and hang out at. There's a lot of area here where you can come and have a picnic area. They have live music in the evening. It's just, it's just a really cool place to come and hang out. Thank you, Bee Daddies, for all your hospitality. Thanks for watching our seven week road trip update in San Antonio, Texas, in Holotus, Texas. Remember to please like and subscribe as we grow our YouTube channel here. We're still brand new, still making mistakes. I know sometimes the wind sound is horrible, and that's why I'm recording this in the van because it's super windy outside. But anyway, we really appreciate it. Our next stop on our little road trip is Austin, Texas to see my son, Rajan. He works at Lazarus Brewing Company. So I think we're gonna get a little tour of that. And we plan on seeing Lucas Nelson at Austin City Limits. So come along and see what we're all about. And remember, Iapoda, it's all part of the adventure.